Here's a quick tutorial on how to use OBS to get onto 1.7 Live. Let's begin. Within the first step, obviously, you have to go ahead and download OBS. So it's just as simple as going to the OBS Studio website. After that, you go ahead and create a new scene. This right here is a scene. It's already been created using the plus sign. Now, the next step is you have to go to scene settings. Right here where it says settings, you then go over to video. And you have to click uh, right here by the numbers and type in the numbers. Do not click the arrows because it will not give you the options of 480 by 960. So you have to manually type it in. Okay. And you have to do that two times. The reason it is at this setting is because this is um, seen as being the optimal uh, resolution for those with uh, cell phone devices. And watching your game uh, in portrait mode to be to be exact okay um, I personally just left my FPS at 60 and I click apply and now once I move this window to the side you can see it's a narrow window much like if someone's holding their phone watching uh, watching your stream portrait mode okay now you have your scene now you need your sources Sources are important. This is pretty much where you get your uh, audios and visuals from, okay? So, first things first, your audio input for your microphone. What you're going to want to do, in my opinion, I always believe that uh, whatever your audio input device is, you name it after that. So, for example, I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone. So, I named the Blue Yeti microphone. I click OK. And then I go ahead and click the matching source. As you see, when I'm speaking, it goes like all the way into the red. I like to tone that down a bit, so I make sure I never bust out people's eardrums. And then next, we go ahead and start focusing on visuals. So um, there's a few different uh, video devices that you pos you uh, potentially could be hook having hooked up to your. Um, computer to send out video so in my case obviously I like to do video games so my capture device uh, my video game capture card is what I'm going to uh, choose I name it Elgato I click OK and then oh yes this is me in case you was wondering who I was but we'll get to me later right now we're looking for the Elgato to put the game up all right and there we have it so uh wow that is huge this is this is the game um so let me go ahead and click okay all right so now comes you know your choice of resizing Ooh, that game audio is in there so i'm just gonna mute it real quick there you go you got the game going so we're gonna go ahead game audio is not too loud um, and then the next uh, the next camera we're gonna go ahead the next uh, video capture device is going to be the camera so the camera I'm using you know I keep it simple all right that's me all right next we're gonna go ahead and shrink that down um, something I always advise is to make sure that like you kind of have like a little bit of space at the top uh, sometimes people's phones like you can get cut off that way so we leave that up there um, and then the next thing is you know it's just good to kind of have some type of atmospheric thing happening um, typically it's good to have like you know not not too big of a distraction um, but I'm going to add I'm just gonna go ahead and add an image so I'm going to click um, my sources I click the plus button I click image I'm just gonna click and pick space 
And now uh, it's going to ask me for an image file. I'm going to look through my images. I have a space file that I want to use. And there we are. And I'm just going to have this. I mean, at the bottom. And then um, because I don't want space to cover the game that I'm playing, I'm going to take I'm going to click hold and drag space to the bottom to be the very bottom image. So it's going to be under Elgato. And there we go. So what's going to take place in here is pretty much, you know, all the chat and, and things of that nature. That's what's that's what's going to be visible. OK. I could make this a I could make this taller. Um, all I have to do is hold uh, control and shift and extend it a bit. And it shouldn't that shouldn't look too bad, actually. So now I got to bring my camera down. Let me see. And be under the Elgato. And there we are. I'm going to bring Halo down a bit to there. All right, so this this is like pretty much you know simple enough. Um, I don't like a plain black background up there. So what I'm going to do is now uh, right click um, the original image. I'm gonna click copy, and then I'm gonna right click and put paste. Um, so I got now it's called space two. Click, hold, drag, and drop. And I'm going to now move that image up to here. So there we go. All right. Now that's done. We go ahead and move on to the next steps. So our next step is uh, output settings. All right. So while going through the output settings, um, pretty much they can be found right here. You click settings. Um, you go to where it says uh, output and here in output mode you got advanced and then you have simple okay um, now I'm gonna be honest with you you can go ahead and go to advanced it'll have the same you know options that will appear uh, the difference is this right here in the OBS manual it's assuming that it's for someone that's using Apple um, I personally am a PC user um, I have, you know, uh, my, uh, what I picked was specifically the NVIDIA, uh, NV and C that worked out fine for me. Um, now I'm going back to like where it talks about bit rate, 1200 K, uh, KBPS. So that's fine. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you right now, everything else is great. The, uh, keyframe is at zero, like it's supposed to be I'm following it, like right to the T. Um, and now we just click apply and click OK. Now, after we're done with that, this is where we actually go to the website, um, 1-7 Live, okay? Um, now you're going to want to, now to help you go ahead and navigate the 1-7 Live site. All right, so navigating the 17 Live site. Ooh, ooh. Sorry about that. There we go. That's what we're gonna do. Um, you'll see this little area here where it says "Go Live." All right. Next. Um, what you're going to do is type in the name of this, you know, create a name for your stream. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to call it Halo Test Stream, right? And then, uh, hashtags. I usually just do hashtag test stream. Oh, you know, people know what time it is. Hashtag don't watch. All right. So then you can pick the event. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a specific event. Um, 
for me right now, because I'm a you know I'm a new streamer, I'm gonna pick uh, let's stream. I'm not a contracted streamer, so we'll pick that. Uh, and then from there, you can now click cre uh, create streaming. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this because there's some things on here that's not supposed to be seen. Okay, like. So in this case, no one should ever know what your uh, stream key is. Um, that's very, very dangerous. That's something you want to keep close to the chest. Okay. I'm going to show you uh, how right here you have the copy buttons where you're going to copy and paste these things. Okay. All right. So going back here, we're going to uh, click settings. We're going to go to stream. Okay. And here is where the stream key goes. Okay. Make sure your server is set to custom. Sorry, your service is set to custom and you make sure that the server, um, input is correct as well. So like I said, on one seven live, you have to click, you have to click the, um, the create stream button. And then that's how you get the push URL. You put the push URL where it says server. And you put the stream key where it says stream key. You do not have to worry about the pull URL. Only focus on push URL and stream key. And then you apply. All right. So next steps now for you to be able to know if your stream is working um, you then click you're going to end up clicking the start streaming button that's going to become visible now i'm going to show you i'm going to show you what that looks like in a moment Once you click start streaming um, on one seven live, you then go here into uh, Streamlabs OBS and then you click, sorry, into OBS and then you click start streaming. It says, are you sure you want to start streaming? Yes, you are ready. And as you look down here, you see the green is happening. That means some connections are going on, starting to work work its magic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend this image a bit more. That way you can see what what's going on here. And like that, you are currently now streaming. As you can see, there's going to be a uh, slight delay, which is fine. That's not a problem at all. That's a uh, good thing to happen because sometimes you want, uh, you definitely are going to want like a delay once in a while. So that works out to your uh, benefit. Okay. And now that you are officially streaming, you can just uh, simply look yourself up just by clicking me on your phone. So you take your, you take your device, mobile device or whatever. Um, that way you can stay on top of your pokes and then you click live. And you get a notification that says, your stream will switch to streamer mode when you enter from your personal page. The audience won't be able to see your phone screen, but you can use some of the streamer functions. So, if people were actually uh, like in the stream, this is how I can go ahead and uh, pretty much, you know, share my stuff on Facebook. Um, I click, you know, oh, I can have assistance and stuff like that. I can set that up. Um, let me see. Whomever is, you know, in here, that's how you get the ability. You know, when everybody's poking you and stuff like that, you click poke. Um, yeah, all this, all this stuff. So. 
this is more so for the uh, mobile side and I'll, I'll make sure to make a video to help you uh, navigate how to like poke everyone and things like that so there you go welcome to 17 live happy streaming everybody oh wait you gotta know how to shut down oh got too excited there all right so the next thing that you do is you go ahead and you know you go to click the stop st streaming section and then you put okay and then you stop streaming and then from there you go into streamlabs obs and click stop streaming as well And just like that, you're officially safely offline. All right. Happy streaming, everybody.